In this video, Timmy's going to walk you through all the different settings you can adjust for your external mouse on your Chromebook. This is not settings for the trackpad, this is only for an external mouse. So if you don't have an external mouse connected to your Chromebook and you want to connect one, you can actually go and watch a different video Timmy has where Timmy shows you how to connect an external mouse to your Chromebook if you haven't done so already. But once your external mouse is connected to your Chromebook and working, if you want to change the cursor speed or the scroll speed or scroll direction or customize the buttons on your mouse or anything like that, this is how it's done. To do any of this, you'll need to open up the Settings app on your Chromebook. So go ahead and click on the App Launcher icon in the bottom left-hand corner here to open up the App Launcher and then scroll down until you find the Settings app here and click on the Settings app to open it up. And now in the Settings app, you'll need to click on Device in this left-hand menu here. And at the top of this menu here, you'll see Mouse. If you do not have a mouse connected to your Chromebook, you won't see this mouse option here. The top option would be Touchpad, but assuming your mouse is currently connected, you'll have this mouse option here, and you can go ahead and click mouse. And now you'll be in all the mouse settings to adjust mouse settings for your Chromebook. So we can see here it says Logitech wireless mouse. That's because Timmy's is using a Logitech wireless mouse. So to have the name of your mouse here, and if you happen to have two mice connected to your Chromebook at the same time, you'd see one here with the name, and then if you scroll down, you'd see another below all of this, but it's pretty unlikely you'd have more than one mouse. You'd usually just have one. And now you can go ahead and adjust some settings for this mouse. So the first option is cursor acceleration. Supposedly, it'll make the cursor move further if you move your mouse faster. Timmy's tried turning it off and on, and Timmy can't really tell much difference, to be honest. So. It's on by default, to me would probably just leave it on, but you could try turning it off and turning it on and see if you notice any difference and you prefer it either way, but to me wouldn't really bother with this. But below that, we have cursor speed, and this one can be quite helpful. So by default, it will usually be set all the way to fast. So when you move the cursor around, it'll move your cursor quite fast, but if this is too fast for you and it's hard to control, you keep going way past the button or something, you can come in here and you can click and drag this down a few notches to slow your cursor down. And now when you move the mouse, the cursor should move a lot slower. So you can adjust that if you want to. Timmy might put it there or something, we'll leave it there. So you have a few notches of adjustment there. And then when we move on, the next option is the scrolling. So the first option in here is reverse scrolling. To me, wouldn't recommend this. At the moment, if you put your finger on the scroll wheel and move the scroll wheel up, slide your finger up to scroll that way, it'll scroll up the page. And then if you move your finger down, it'll scroll down the page. And that really makes the most sense and most computers are like that. So it's really best to just leave it at default. But if you wanted to, you could click on this switch here. And now when you move your finger down the scroll wheel, it'll scroll up the page. And when you move your finger up the scroll wheel, it'll scroll down. So that's a bit confusing for most people probably. To me, would leave that turned off. But if you're used to reverse scrolling and you want it to do that, you can make it do that. And the next option is controlled scrolling. So if you turn this on, you'll then be able to adjust the scrolling speed of how fast it'll scroll up and down the page when you scroll with the scroll wheel. So if we turn this on, it's currently set to slow, but we could turn it all the way up to fast. And it's not going to be very obvious here because this is a very short page. But if we pull up Google Chrome or something, we can see when you move the wheel just a little bit, it's scrolling quite fast up and down the page now. But if we turn that all the way down to slow and bring Google Chrome back, 
Now, when you scroll on the scroll wheel, it's going to move the page a lot slower. So, it's up to you how you want to have it. Timmy usually likes to zoom through pages pretty fast, so Timmy's actually going to have it almost at the fastest. And that's pretty much all the main settings that you would normally want to control. But there is one final option down here called Customize Buttons. So we'll click that and have a look in there. And the main normal option here is just one that says Primary Mouse Button. And the name is kind of confusing. They could have probably named it something more obvious than that. But basically, right now, if you were to click on the left button on the mouse, that will do a standard normal click. And if you click on the right button on the mouse, that will do a right click. And that's really what you'd expect and what basically every mouse normally does. So you probably always want to leave it at that. But if you wanted to, you could click this switch and this will reverse the buttons. So now if you click the right click button, that will be a normal click. And if you press the left click button, that will be a right click. And to me really wouldn't recommend doing this unless you have a really specific use for it being this way, because it's just going to end up being confusing. And every time you watch a tutorial and it tells you to left or right click, it'll be wrong. And it will take a while for you to get used to it. And then even when you get used to it, you'll then use a different computer at some point, and then you'll be used to the wrong thing. So unless you have a really specific reason for doing this, to me wouldn't recommend doing this. So to me would recommend leaving that turned off so that the click buttons are normal. But something you might want to do is customize the extra buttons on your mouse. A normal mouse like this won't have many extra buttons, but some fancy mice actually have quite a few extra buttons and you can set custom actions for all of those. But even with a simple mouse like this, you can usually click the scroll wheel as an extra button. So a lot of people don't really know this, but instead of just scrolling up and down with your scroll wheel, you can also push down on it. And then that will act as an extra button on your mouse. And as you can see here, it says add or locate buttons on your mouse press a button that's not the left or right mouse button, and then it'll add it to a list here. So if we go ahead and click down on the scroll wheel, it'll add this button here that says middle button. So we can see the button here now, and it's just set to the default function. By default, it can open links in a new tab and things, which is pretty handy. But now that you have it here, you can click on this drop down menu and you can make this middle button do all kinds of different things. So if you wanted to, you could set this to screenshot. And now whenever you push down on the middle button, your Chromebook will immediately take a screenshot for you. So you would just click there and it will take a screenshot. It won't do the action right now because we're in this page of the settings. So none of the buttons actually do their proper function in here. But if we once again pull up Google Chrome or something, and then you push down in that middle button, it will bring up the screenshot tool where you can now drag and take a screenshot. So if you often take a lot of screenshots and you want an easy way to take a screenshot, you could set it to that. Or you could come in here and choose from loads of different things. You could make it turn the volume on or off, the microphone on or off. And you can scroll down and there's all kinds of different things you can choose. And one really cool option is create key combination. You can actually make this button perform a keyboard shortcut for you. So there's keyboard shortcuts you can use like control C to copy something. And if you don't want to use the keyboard shortcut control C, you could create a key combination of control C. And then whenever you push down on the middle button, that will automatically copy something for you. So you could do that if you want, and then pushing the middle button will be the equivalent of performing that keyboard shortcut. But you can just choose any option you want in here and set the button to that. So if you have a standard mouse, that's pretty much all there is to it. And you can go back out of that and you're done. But if you do have a fancier mouse like this with more buttons on it, 
you have more button options. Timmy's just connected this MX Master 3S mouse, which has several buttons. So now if we scroll down through here and click Customize Mouse Buttons, you'll see it's actually automatically already detected all of these buttons. But if it hasn't detected these buttons for your mouse, you might just need to go through and push every button and then they should all pop up here. And if you're wondering which one is which now, you can press one of the buttons and it will highlight it in green like that. So if we press that one, we'll go down there. If we press that one there, we could go back up. We could click the middle button and do that one. So you can highlight to see which button it is. But now you have all these buttons and you can set a separate custom function for each of these buttons. So if you have a fancy mouse like this with lots of extra buttons, you can go ahead and add all these functions that you can access with just one press of a button. But once you've customized all of that and you've done everything you want to do, you can just go ahead and go back out of there and back out of there and you can close the settings app and now you can use your mouse with all the new settings that you've adjusted. And that's all there is to this video. So hopefully you found it helpful and Tamil see you in the next one.